Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So I hope each and everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So guys, before getting into the solutions, so if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your WhatsApp student groups so that it will reach maximum number of students. So don't forget to like the video guys and watch the video till the end without, without skipping. So this is week four assignment of the course, uh, the joy of computing using Python. So friends, I hope every solution is almost correct. But if there are any changes to be made, please give your opinion in the comment section guys. So these are my completely my probable solutions guys. So uh, please mark these solutions as a reference. So now let's see, we get into the solutions. So first one, what is a magic square? So for first question, the answer is second option. A square grid of numbers where the sum of rows, columns and diagonals are equal. So for first question, the answer is second option. Now let's move on to the second question. So second one, in a 3 by 3 magic square, what is the magic con constant? What is the magic constant? So for second question, the answer is fourth option, 15. Now let's move on to the third question. Third one. Which of the following is not a property of magic, magic square? So for third question, the answer is fourth option. The sum of each individual element is equal. Now moving on to the fifth question, I mean our fourth question. So, what will be the output of the following code? So, they have given a code. They are asking the output for this. So, for fourth question, I have got the answer as uh, second option, a magic square of size n. So, mark second option. And now, let's move on to the Fifth question, fifth one. So fifth question, what will be the output of the following code? So they have given the code, right? And they are asking the output for that fifth question or the op correct option. So for fifth question, the answer is first option, sorted list L containing random elements between 0 to 10 in descending order. So mark first option as correct answer for fifth question. So now let's move on to the sixth one, the sixth question. Guys, if you are getting benefited through our channel, please keep subscribe our channel guys. So till the end, so please keep supporting us and please like the video. So if you like the video, then only our channel will get suggestions. Uh, as a suggestion to most of the students so the number of likes will help our channel to grow and uh, create more awareness among the students so please uh, consider this and sixth question which code will generate all prime numbers between 0 to 100 so guys before getting into this solution i want to make a small announcement so this is a uh, regarding the joy of computing using python so exam preparation mcqs guys so with nearly five years of experience we have uh, collected all these previous mcqs so he, there are two packs available the first one is savings pack and the other one is super savings pack in super savings pack you will get a huge number of 300 mcqs for just 500 rupees only and that too up to five members can share that 500 rupees pdf so if if your if your classmates are doing the same course then five members can form a group and you can you can combinedly buy 500 rupees back so you can share money for each person right so there will be 300 number of huge MC, huge number of mcqs up to five members can access that and there is high topic coverage many topics will be covered and search option is also available guys and it is easy to revise also because you can easily scroll the pdf even going to the exam hall 
and there is another pack that is just savings pack so it is all these are uh, coming come under pdf access google drive link so the validity is till the exam day you can get the access for that pdf so there uh, the price I mean there are 150 mcqs in this savings pack and the price is doubled guys 300 rupees and it is accessible for up to three members so three members can combinedly buy this 300 pack so the topic coverage so there is medium topic coverage and search option is also available and it is also easy to revise but my suggestion is to take you make you take this pack guys 300 mcqs pack because you are getting more number of mcqs means better practice and may, may also be better result right so it is 500 rupee pack guys uh, uh, the number of mcqs is 300 or uh, 300 and up to five members can get access guys so if you want this pack you can message me to this email id this is my email id i will give that in the description box also and comment section in the comment section also so with nearly five years of experience we are doing this guys so already many people have taken our pdfs so now it's time for you to practice better so now let's get back to the solutions so for sixth question so for sixth question the answer is second option now let's move on to the seventh question so seventh one in the birthday paradox as the number of people in a group increases what happens to the probability that the two people share a birthday <coughs> so for seventh question the answer is first option it increases the probability increases now let's move on to the eighth question guys so eighth one which module which module is used to generate random numbers in python so for eighth question the answer is second option random it is random now moving on to the ninth question ninth one which function is used to shuffle a list in python so for ninth question the probable answer is first option guys random dot shuffle random dot shuffle function function so now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one so what is the output of the following code so this is the four lines code they have given they are asking the output of that so guys i want to once again make you remember so we are providing mcqs guys so you'll get nearly 300 mcqs for just 500 rupees only up to five members can share that guys so the validity will be th till the exam day and high, there is high topic syllabus coverage so search option is also available guys you can search which question you want so it is easy to revise also so this is the email id you have to mail me for so already many people have taken our packs guys our pdfs so only message me if you want to purchase the pack guys so that's it now let's get back to the final solution <laughs> so for 10th and final question the answer is third option guys a random ordering of the numbers 1 through 5 so mark third option third option so friends these are the solutions for week 4 assignment of the course the joy of computing using python so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this within your whatsapp groups and whatsapp within your whatsapp status so that it will reach maximum number of students and everyone will get benefited so that's it guys so so keep supporting us like this and consider buying uh, purchasing these pdfs so it will benefit for you in the preparation of your exam so that's it guys for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you